Morning. So we had quite a big move yesterday by the dollar following comments by Powell, who basically said if the economic data and employment continue to rise, he will continue to raise rates. And this obviously helped the dollar. However, this move was well underway already. Uh, we discussed this recently. This is euro dollar versus the US dollar. We saw this last month. We saw uh, euro dollar foul at its previous long term uptrends. You'll remember we discussed this uh, because it goes back for quite some way and the reason and it's how important it is to leave on long term trend lines. So we already saw a return to point of breakout from this long term downtrend and the market come under downside pressure. So what is happening now? Well, Powell's comments have just accelerated the move. Clear near term support in my mind is the low we got here back in January 2017, which is at 103.40. And if you go back to the daily chart, you can see this uh, orange line here comes in at 103.25. Well, that's the 200 day moving average. So the combination of the two offers a decent short term target. You'll also notice that the price action yesterday <clears throat> broke the market below its uh, cloud support. And you will also notice that we've now got a mild sell signal on the DMI indicator. So fairly negative price action going on here. Uh, we do have a near term level at 104.82, which is the low we got back in January. It's this year's low. Uh, and that will be uh, the near term breakdown point for this 103.40, 103.25 level. Uh, on the top side, you've got the green line, which is the 55 day moving average at 107.13, offering near term very decent resistance. And while below there, I, I would hazard a guess that it's going to remain offered. Thanks very much.